Okay, so here's a video where I thought I was recording the intro and turns out I never was. Hmm. Who would have thunk it? Now, the thing about this being a warm foundation is that what I like to do, which is the chemistry of it all, is to balance this out with a cool, let me see, because this is so red, but if I had a concealer that was more orange, then it would help to balance all of this out. Let's use this Kosas Concealer 8.7. I haven't used it in a while, but now I'm looking at it. I, ooh, this is looking very light. Hold on, oh dear God. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's not too light. This is the color 8.7. I do recall liking this, so that's a good thing. So here we are, starting with the outer part of the face and then taking a clean side of the sponge to blend out any potential harsh lines. And then I go and pinch and go on the inside. This is a nice dewy looking concealer too. So I was thinking that that concealer was too light. It's actually not light enough. <laughs> it's not light enough. So I am going to use Mink in the Lawless One and Done Concealer to lighten this up a little bit because I. I need to see my concealer. Now this one, as you can see, is looking more cool, which is okay, we got a mix going on. Okay, now for contour, I'm gonna use this Rose Ink Cream Contour, and this is the color Capri. I used this in a different video and I enjoyed it, but now I don't know if it's gonna show enough on top of this foundation. Let's check it out. It does pick up very lightly, right? Like I could never be digging into the KVD vegan beauty situation like I am right now in this product. So this is great for beginners. Ooh. This is not dark enough for me. I know you're thinking, it's a bronzer. How is it supposed to be dark? Well, sometimes bronzers, bronzers are dark. I suppose I can deepen this up with my the setting powder, but I like for it to be deep already with the cream. And I already put my KBD Vegan Beauty away in my stash. Now I'm like, I wanna go get it. Like, what the heck? It's definitely on the more natural side. Like, I like this. And I know the KBD Vegan Beauty one is a foundation. I get all that. I just need something darker, you know? <laughs> Hi. We're gonna just stick with this and I'm gonna deepen it up with the powder in a second. Now to set my highlighted areas, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Translucent Softening Loose Setting Powder. Have I ever used this? Oh, okay, yeah, I have. I can tell by looking at it, but it's been a while. Let's take the not as dirty part of the sponge to blend out harsh lines. <gasps> oh, girl, you almost let me go without doing my nose? God forbid. Oh no, we have to do the nose, baby. Hold on. Taking this Sephora 56 Pro Conceal brush and pinching, and let's get right here. Mm -hmm. Pinch and get right here. So that's on, and then I'm gonna press under my eye to make sure that there are no prominent creases and figure out how to look down and pick up this powder <laughs> without creating creases again. <laughs> it's strange not using a powder with color because I'm used to using the cinnamon bun powder from Huda Beauty. I've been using that for a while. So getting off the excess, this is how the sponge looks. Right on the face. I could honestly put this on the whole face, but in the bronzer area, I wanna deepen it, so I'm gonna use a different powder. But usually this is adding some yellow to my face, but clearly this is a translucent powder today. It sure is mattifying me. I'm feeling pretty stiff. Wow, it is mattifying me, honey. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure I could have used this on my face if I wanted my face to be more matte before the actual product. And I've even heard of folks mixing in their powder with their foundation. I haven't done that before. Like literally mixing in and then applying. Have not done that before, but that is certainly an option if you're feeling kind of froggy, okay? I'm gonna go back to my Old Faithful. <laughs> LYS No Limits Bronzer and the color worthy deep. You see what I mean? This is called a bronzer, but this is certainly a contour, at least on me. Like, come on dark chocolate, you know what I mean? So there's that. This looks so good, nice and dork. Nice and dork, y'alls. Excess on my chin, honey. And we gonna fix all of it with the face powder, don't worry. 
and I'm going to, this is really dork, so bending this again and going ever so lightly, but more so toward the brow. I'm not gonna bring this down much. I just want it to be a little bit shadowy right here. Some light, you know? Although you must be like, uh, that's dark. <laughs> and then the face powder, I'm gonna stick, I was gonna try something different, but the way this color is looking, I don't know. This is the Bare Minerals 16 hour perfecting powder foundation. The color is D55 neutral. Let's see how she gonna be. She might be so gorgeous, but I'm just like a little bit nervous. God, I just feel so red. I'll have you know that this finishing powder does look really pretty. I'm just so concerned about this red face that I have going on. I need to deepen out my contour because I'm not seeing it enough. So here we go, focusing more on the hairline. Not gonna bring it down my cheeks too much because when I do my blush, I don't want it to look too blushy. I need it to still look like there's a shadow, you know? Ooh, I have another product that I tried out recently in a different video. Also Rose Ink, this is their cream highlighter the color is prismatic, love this. So taking this part of my sponge where the concealer was and rubbing it onto the product like so. Oh yes, right up here, honey. And this is buildable, great in my opinion, if you are a beginner and or just aren't comfortable with a cream or even a liquid highlighter. See how I'm just building that? Pinch. The nose and this side. Guys, honey, comment and let me know. Tell me this ain't beautiful. What in the world? And I want to make sure that there is no line of demarcation right here. So leftover product, just going over this here. I was about to put on this red blush. It's a berry blush. It is delicious from Black Radiance, but because my face is already given so much red, <laughs> I'm gonna abort mission on that and then do this orange blush now both in the warm family i get it okay this is the <laughs> beauty bakery bite size snuck what <laughs> i almost said snuckaroon snackaroon's blush in the color hey pumpkin hi so i'm gonna put this on okay in a very wild manner because just adding some sun-kissed horizon-ness to the face. This is matte, right? It's not a shimmer, but that's okay because I already did my highlighter, so I'm not trying to make a, like put on a blush that's shimmery. Yo, there's literally a lot of chemistry that goes into this because if the face is looking very warm and red, gotta be careful with what you pair it with. Like, I'm not going to put on a red lip with a face that already looks so red because then I'm gonna look even more like an apple. I did the orange blush and now I'm like, should I do nude again? I, I always do freaking nude, but I'm gonna do nude again today. Doing my brows now, this is Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. The color is natural black. My brows are microbladed, but my makeup brow is different from my no makeup brow. My skincare brow, put it that way. <laughs> this is skincare brow and then there's a makeup brow and that is intentional and I love it, okay? Oh my God, this is so terrible. I forgot to do fragrance of the day. God almighty, I have been saying that I wanted to share them in the videos and I haven't put on a fragrance yet today. So <laughs> we are back to this Marc Jacobs perfect because baby, first of all, the bottle is so cute. All right, I'm spraying my arms, just all, I'm spraying the hands also. So when you move your hands, you're also transferring the scent, like hi, the neck all over between the breast, the legs all over the legs, honey. <laughs> We just doing everything, basically, you know? Hell, we even gonna spray the hair. You know what I'm saying? Just all of it, hi. I am gonna do an eyeshadow. This is a Too Faced shadow insurance that I've been enjoying. All right, this came in a Real Techniques kit of some sort. This is a deluxe crease brush, and I'm gonna just use that to set this down, blend it out, whatever. Could use my finger, but I don't feel like it. I just put on, I just sprayed on fragrance on my hands. Like, why? Not gonna deal with this today. Would I use this for eyeshadow? No, it's way too dense. But this is great to blend out, like you saw, blending out my concealer color. So there's that. I am back to the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. I'm showing you this because I'm sure you're gonna be curious as to how I achieve my eye look. Hello. All right, now in the crease, I'm gonna take these brown, 
colors. Well, the reddish brown and then the actual brown. Always tapping off the excess. This foundation is looking good. Comment and let me know what you're thinking about it so far. So right here we are going in with the reddish brown color. Taking the brush that has the leftover contour product on it to go right here so that there's no harsh line right here in this corner. Now in the crease, I'm gonna take the dark brown. It has been a while since I have taken a gold color and just put it on my lid in the front like this. So I'm gonna do that today. This is the color right here in the corner. I'm gonna stop three quarters of the way in because I'm gonna bring the browns into the corner. So I brought the reddish brown and the brown under the eye and because the eyelid color is rose goldy, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna use the lighter silvery gold version of the Milk Makeup Color Chalk. This is the color Hopscotch. I have two different ones. One is more orange gold, this one is more silvery gold, okay? Put that right in my tear duct because it'll pop more. There's gotta be a difference between the two golds. You know, doesn't that already look so gorgeous? The differentiation, ow, ow, ow. For eyeliner, lately I've been using the Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner. This is not my Revlon Vinyl. You know, I love that one because it's shiny, but I don't know where it is. Nice and dark. It's on the skin, which is good because I'm going to then smudge it out. Did a whole video on eyeliners. Make sure you watch that in addition to my video on applying false lashes. Watch those two videos. This look is building itself up honey flat brush from mac i'll link a dupe for you i've had this for a long time and now on my top i'm going to use this eyeshadow from sephora collection the color black lace this is a matte black and i'm going to use this to create a eyeliner on the top now this mascara is new for me or have i tried this <laughs> if so oh wait a minute this is the <laughs> charlotte tilbury hello talk push-up lashes it's a burgundy color that's not what i wanted today although this is a vibe just not for today oh man okay i'm not gonna try that today then i will try this one callie ray come hella high water clean mascara let's see what she's talking about on the top lash what do you think pretty standard Looks good, but of course, lashes are a must, okay? I always wear D22, honey. 22, 22. Link is always in the description box. Link is always in my IG link. In bio, it's always there. D22. I do wear D20 sometimes, but mainly D22. Go ahead and grab you some stock up on them, honey. So for my lips, I'm gonna use these two lippies from Rare Beauty. So here's the brown color, it's called Strong. And let's put this on the outer part of the lip. Ooh, nice and creamy. Ooh, that's a good color. Wow, I like how creamy this is. This is nice, hold on. Wow, Rare Beauty, I, I like this a lot. Okay, this is the color Creative. To go in the middle, mmm. -hmm. Yes. This is my first time using this. I like it a lot. Wow. Wow. This is a nice nude lippy combo. Comment and let me know if you're feeling it because I already am. Ooh. We could lighten it up a little bit on the inside or just leave it like this. I'm going to leave it just like this, but you let me know what you would do. Would you put a gloss on this? Because I do have gloss right here in front of me and I'm tempted. This is a Sephora gloss. It's called Yes Honey. I could do it, but... This is a very nice, comfortable matte lip option. I love. I want you to comment, let me know what you think about this look and how it came out. Of course, the face is looking so good. It's looking so healthy and hydrated. I love the products. I can't point out any product that I wasn't crazy about. The Rose Ink Cream Bronzer, I've used in a different video and I like it. It just wasn't dark enough for this foundation. I still like it and it still came together with my powder bronzer, which really was a contour powder. You get what I'm saying. You, you, you get the confusion, you know? Lower lash mascara is lawless, one and done, you already know. All links are below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Follow me here and on Instagram and on TikTok, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.